Hi everyone, today we are going to be colouring in these little seed packets. Now I am thinking about the fact that we've got a lot of organic colours on this page. We might want to do something a little bit different that, that will just um, add a different colour really into what we're doing. But on the other hand I don't want it to just jump out of the page and look different to everything else. So I'm having a little think about this. I'm going to start with the um, this um, clothes peg. I'm going to do that first with some browns and then we'll get thinking. So this is a brown ochre, it's 182 from the um, Polychromo set and I'm just going to go all over the peg with this to start with to make it look like quite a light wood. Now it's usually a metal bit on a clothes peg um, so I'm going to grab a, oops, grey, sorry I Grab the wrong one. I find cold greys are better for metallics. This is cold grey five. I'm just going to give it a sharpen because that's such a fine piece that we're going to do. Now with metallics, the key is to leave a bit of white in the paper to indicate shine. So I'm going to go dark from each corner edge and leave that bit that's facing us white. You will barely see it on the video but uh, hopefully you can replicate that and, uh, and get it looking slightly shiny. I also want to do a little bit of shading on this piece. So I'm going to grab this one, which is the um, dark umber, I think. Um, burnt umber, sorry, burnt umber. I'm going to sharpen it and I'm going to do along this edge here where the two pieces are together oh there will be some shadow sorry my uh, the lead broke made me jump there and slightly underneath the um, metallic bit maybe just a tad at the bottom there we go there's our peg all done now i'm thinking about the packets most seed packets are white um, but some of them might have an outside colour of green. Now again, we've got a lot of green on this page. We've got leaves on here too, which are green. So I'm going to do the leaves. Well, they don't have to be green, but I'm going to do them green. So I'm going to grab my um, permanent green olive first and do this leaf here. I'm going to make it a little darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. I wonder what this is. Basil? What do you reckon? And how many people from the UK will show their age by thinking about Faulty Towers when I said Basil. Now this one looks very similar leaf-wise. I'm going to grab my earth green yellowish for that one. And I'm going to colour them in the same way. It's a little bit darker towards the base and lighter towards the tip. Yes, anyone, I think don't know if um, Faulty Towers made its way to the USA or to Australia. I can't imagine it would um, be in other countries. I can't think that it would translate. The sense of humour was very specific. I don't know if I really watched a lot of it. My dad used to watch it when I was little. Okay, now the packets. Um, I have seen, I'm looking through actual pictures of plant packet, of seed packets. Some of them are vintage and really, really pretty. Those are quite interesting. They've actually got pink and purple edging, but they um yes, those are purple. Those are blue. I think I might go for a little purple just for a bit of a difference on this page. We do have some purple grapes a bit further up, so it's not like we're introducing a completely new color. I'm just going to grab this violet actually it's not a really bright purple i need to sharpen it so it won't really jump off the page but it might just work i think and i'm just going to do it for the outline of the packet so this packet here just around the edge oh i snapped the end it's a new blade in my sharpener uh, fairly new and it um sharpens them such a fine point to such a fine point that they snap it's very rare for um, these um, polys to do that, but uh, as I say, it's such a new sharpener, it's lovely. 
I was finding all weekend my pencils were breaking and so I just decided that I need to uh, get a new blade in there <laughs> okay now this one is the back of the packet so I'm going to do this sort of sticker in the purple colour so that it sort of matches but not this one just seems very different I imagine it to be a sort of brown bag of seeds rather than a packet but maybe it's just an open packet um, now we need a sort of background colour I'm thinking a really 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 light purple or pink might just work um, I'm gonna go for the lightest pink Oops. And this is, going in my sharpener, it is the, I think, mm, I'm just checking because I, it's, you'll see why in a minute. Yes. It is a light magenta. Look, eeny weeny. And I'm going to use that very, very gently to just create a light background colour. Now I'm barely pressing it on the page. I want it to just look like, you know, a touch of pink. So these two packets are the same. I'm thinking same brand. Maybe there's some colour a bit deeper around the edges of this bit. I'm thinking and then all this is the pale just to make it a little bit more interesting and this is pale too but in here just a little darker where it overlaps just a little bit Oh, my stomach's gurgling. I'm sorry. You may not be able to hear it. Right, and you can barely see that actually. This camera seems very dark all of a sudden. That's odd. I shall switch it off and on again in between. I'm taking the photograph and maybe it will show it up a little better. But I am done with that. So, uh, so there we go. So I hope that was fun. It's, it's quite simple today but uh, hopefully it gave you a few ideas as to what to do. So thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.